Hi Christian, um, back at Koenigsegg. Uh, yes, uh, welcome back. <laughs> Indeed. Well, the new Agera R, um, 2013 uh, model. 13 model. Yes. Um, with lots more visible carbon. Yes, as a as power. Correct. Uh, lighter. Yes. And lots of special electronic trickery that you've developed in-house at Koenigsegg. Yes, correct. We have uh, now uh, a unique engine management system where we have uh, designed and engineered from the circuit board up even to the software, which enable us to really bespoke the functionality of the car. It's, it's the first time we know that, uh, uh, that a small car manufacturer like ourselves has taken on such a big task given that it's all OBD2 compliant and so on. But it really gives us benefits uh, for the future. Because last time we spoke, you were producing about 12 cars a year. So that investment from Koenigsegg for 12 cars a year is quite substantial. Yes, it's more of a long-term investment. And actually, every technology we develop can be used for uh, larger volume production by ourselves or by other people. And we are uh, happy to offer our services. And, and that's actually a part of our business. So Now, the kind of breaking news at the moment is all about the US. Um, we understand you've got your first US order. Um, we're hearing possibly the Artico. Right, right. Yes, uh, we, we, we are very happy to uh, deliver the first Agero R to the US uh, this uh, summer. And uh, yes, it's a unique car. So, so I guess we need to big up uh, Alpha P and um, all the guys back in the US. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> But this car here, the Gera R, as I say, it's, I understand it's the only car that you can specify now that has this wing. This is what kind of stands this one as, as the Agera R over the Agera. Correct. We, we have uh, started to differentiate the models a, li a little bit more than before in order to also optimize uh, what they are. Because if, if, if we limit a little bit the choices, we can also optimize the combinations better uh, for the customers. The sky was always the limit. Um, but you were finding that a lot of the options were always specified on cars, so you've now made them into what we see here, really. Yes, it's kind of a helping the customer to, to save him time and energy to, to what the car should be from our perspective, and what we've seen are the best combinations. But you've ordered the well, you, you've now released the ultimate configurator with you can specify the car in literally any color you want any color on the planet actually yes and of course uh, we're hoping our customers to be sensible with this tool but you can actually specify any color and, and, and a normal configurators are too restrictive for this type of car because all our customers always blend their own colors anyway so we thought why not make a configurator where you actually can do that for the interior for the exterior and that configurator then gives us codes so we can send samples to our customers is this what you were looking for and and then we can produce the car accordingly as you say some of your customers are repetitive um, supercar hoarders in a way that have like 10 cars whatever and they kind of follow a theme on their collection um, we saw the Agera in the UK that was white with yellow and grey and that matched another car in the owner's collection. So having the ultimate configurator kind of makes sense. Yes, we think so and, and it's been well received so far and, and it actually helps us also to specify the cars for the customers. So. And again, from your website, it's kind of, you've obviously had a web designer working uh, many hours, you've now got a whole lifestyle collection as well. Yes, correct. I mean, uh, we have many more Koenigsegg fans than we have Koenigsegg owners, as our production is so limited, and we get continuous inquiries for caps, t-shirts, uh, polo shirts, books, models, and so on. So we said, okay, let's, let's put up a section uh, for our fans, and, and, uh, and it's been um, taken off well so far. Okay. Well, um, can we have a closer look at the new Agera R? Yes, let's do. Yeah, so what we see at the back here is our uh, new triplex suspension that we developed with Swedish uh, shock absorber manufacturer Olins, uh, which are really state-of-the-art uh, uh, manufacturer. And uh, so we actually have an extra shock absorber connecting uh, uh, the left and right-hand side wheel. This means we get some more squat dampening than uh, side force dampening. And this in turn means that we do not have to build in anti-squat geometry into our uh, suspension system, which most uh, car manufacturers do in, in order to control squat. But the negative side of building in anti-squat geometry in the suspension is that it has 
other side effects that are not so desirable. So by doing this triplex suspension we can have a very true geometry, still get anti-squat dampening and we can have slightly softer dampening in, in other aspects to have more compliance. So it basically uh, gives better handling and more comfort at the same time and we can maintain a very true geometry with very minimal squat. So that's something uh, we're very proud of, uh, this kind of invention suspension here, which we call the triplex suspension. Then we have a new exhaust outlet uh, for the 2013 uh, model, which is a little bit more uh, homogeneous looking than uh, before, and even though it's slightly larger, it's also lighter. Um, but what's really interesting about it is that we optimized the exhaust flow and the shape of it to work together with the uh, diffusers. So we actually increase the efficiency of the diffuser with the help of a, of a unique shape of the exhaust um, outlet. So that increase in downforce and reduction in drag works together with our new uh, Agera R front winglet, which we have tested in both CFD and, and uh, real life testing with coast down on, on our airfield. And what we can see is that uh, it brings about 20 kilos more downforce at 250 kilometers per hour and at the same time reduce drag. So it's again a win-win uh, solution which we're, we're happy about. Uh, if we go to this side we're displaying our new carbon fiber air core technology wheels which is the first carbon fiber wheel which is hollow. So the spokes are actually empty inside just filled of air and also the center of it is hollow and empty. It's a skin construction. So this makes it the most strongest, lightest construction possible because there is no core adding weight but not giving any extra strength that there normally is in a wheel. So the front wheel actually only has a weight of 5,950 grams, which is extremely light for a 19 inch wheel with a nine and a half inch width. At the rear, we have a 20 inch wheel which uh, is 12 and a half inch wide with a weight of 6,572 grams. So even though we save around 20 kilos of unsprung weight, um, we add stiffness and strength compared to an aluminium wheel. So we're very proud regarding that. So basically those are the upgrades of the Agera 2013. Uh, but we also have a little uh, uh, horsepower addition to the engine because we have a new engine management system that allows us to run uh, some new electronic components and, and uh, higher performing um, coil on plugs and stuff like that so we've been able to raise the RPM uh, with uh, uh, 250 RPM to 7500 and thereby gaining 35 horsepower so uh, we're up to now 1140 horsepower in, in, uh, in flex fuel uh, uh, mode when we're running on E85. So I'll uh, explain a little bit about the uh, interior of the um, Agera R. Well, first of all, you can see that the uh, the interior is very symmetrical. So originally, we always planned to do both left and right hand drive. And many car manufacturers say that if you do under thousands of cars, you cannot do left and right hand drive. But actually, the whole construction of the car is designed so the steering column, the instrument and everything, the pedals can be put on either side and the airbag can move over and we have mountings for both sides in every car. So in, in, in like one or two weeks we can actually convert the car from left hand to right hand drive if the customers wish. So it's very flexible that way. Uh, then we have of course a lot of functionality in the car. Uh, it is a hyper car so it needs to be uh, very light and fast but we also try to make uh, make it livable uh, uh, for, for daily use and, and longer journeys. So we have, uh, for example, uh, satellite navigation, uh, uh, we have phone, uh, we have uh, um, yeah, and anything you would expect in a normal car, plus hydraulic lifting systems, and it's all integrated in this kind of uh, uh, minimalistic, uh, what we call a kind of minimalistic Swedish Koenigsegg design, which you might not find in, in other cars. Uh, the steering wheel is completely carbon, hollow carbon, so it's very lightweight. Uh, the paddles are mounted to the steering wheel. And of course, there's always debate as which is the better to have it on the column or on the steering wheel. But we find that when you're on a racetrack, uh, it's really nice to not have to move your hands around in the corners and so on. You get, you get more control by having them on the steering wheel. And then we have some uh, control buttons for, uh, for controlling music, uh, launch control, 
uh, telephone and so on on, on the steering wheel. Uh, the steering wheel is adjustable uh, for up and down and rake, so, and, and, and the instrument cluster moves together with the steering wheel. Um, so it, it's kind of, a, we have some good storage capacity and so on, so it's, it, it's a livable car for being an extreme hypercar really. Um, and, and ergonomics, I would say, uh, is, is quite good. So again, thanks very much for your time. Um, My pleasure. It's been an absolute pleasure. Um, what's next? Obviously, US deliveries. Right. Um, well, you've got the um, whole issue of homologation and everything sorted out, which is great news. Yes, yes. Um, for the US, uh, we can get a few cars in this year uh, due to the fact that uh, we have an exemption for uh, smart airbags, which we will be working on for the future. Okay. But we have uh, the other components needed, so a few cars is going to the US, which, which is nice. No, that is that is fantastic news. And what will we see next with the Agera or other developments? Can you give us a hint? Can you give <laughs> us a clue? Well, of course, I mean, uh, it's, it's, these cars are all about fun, enjoyment, and, and of course, st staying ahead when it comes to performance, because they're performance cars. So I guess we will keep on showing what the car can do. And raising the bar. Something like that. <laughs> Again, thanks very much, Christian. Have a great show. Thank you.